To take payments on Shopify will require setting up your payment options. This is done under Settings and then Payments. On the Payments page, you see all the different payment options available to you. The default payment is Shopify Payments. Shopify Payments can be set up without requiring the use of any third-party payment providers. To accept Shopify Payments, you need to complete the account setup. You will enter details like your name, your bank account details and your business details. After that, you can view any payouts. Once you have set up Shopify Payments, you can then manage your payment options. Here you'll see your standard rates and you'll be able to choose the kind of cards you will accept. The standard cards all have the standard rates but American Express will be charged at different rates. ShopPay is an option where customers who have bought previously on a Shopify store have their address and payment details saved to enable a faster checkout. This is a popular option and it is a good idea to select this. You can choose whether to choose Apple Pay and Google Pay and also the countries that you sell to. So if we add a country region, let's add say Austria. You will then accept Austrian Euros. Here you will see the exchange rate which is set for this country and you can choose whether to increase or decrease your prices by a set percentage. Under these countries regions you can set rounding. Now this sets rounding for shipping rates or prices which have been converted. You can choose to enable or disable this. Here you set the bank which your payments will be remitted to and also under this you can set how payouts are described on your bank statement. You can also choose your payout schedule. By default it's every day but you can choose less frequently than that. On credit cards there are two types of automatic fraud prevention. The first is the postcode verification. This compares the numbers on the address given by the customer to the numbers on their card address. So for example if someone lives in 75 Parkdale it will compare the number 75 with the address which is on the customer statement and do the same for the postcode. By declining charges that fail this kind of verification, you will ensure that your transactions are more secure, but you will also have a lot more declined transactions. I would recommend not ticking this box. A second one is the CVV code or the CV2 code. This is the three digits on the back of the card. If someone has their card, then they will know this code and therefore it is an important fraud prevention step to ensure that they must enter this code when making a payment. The last option here is the customer billing statement. This shows how the payment will appear on the customer's bank statement. Another payment option is PayPal Express Checkout. The default payment email will be an email you use to create the account. You should make sure this email is set up on your PayPal account. You can click here to complete the account setup. Another option is Amazon Pay. If you click on this button here, you'll be taken to set up an account. You can also set up third party providers and alternative payment methods. These are things, for example, like Stripe or Checkout.com, and by clicking on these options, you will enter your account details, and which will then allow you to take payment. Shopify allows you to set up a number of manual payment methods, for example, a bank order or a money order. If we click on bank deposit, you will enter the details here which your customers will use to use this payment method. So for example, under bank deposit, you will put the details of the bank account they need to make the payment to. Once you've entered those details, you can activate bank deposit and will be shown to customers when they make a purchase. Thanks for watching this video. For more content, please subscribe to our channel or check out our Amazon playlist. You can also see more hints and tips at our website, which is vendlab.com blog.